I am here with Rudy Sarzo. How are you doing, man? Hi, Carilla. Good to see you. Good to see you it's too. been a really long name for you, I'm sure. Yeah, it started on Thursday. As a matter of fact, I think I saw you at the PB celebration. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Now, we were talking about earlier how you've been going to NAMM since before I was born, since a very long time, born. so you're very experienced at NAMM. Well. Now, <laughs> what kind of notably, and I know it's a very long archive, almost 30 years ago in NAMM, that's insane. Yeah. Um, what experiences have changed in your NAMM? Ooh, that's a really What's, good question. What experiences? have changed. Well, when I first started, I was a starving musician. Right. So you had a whole different strategy. Right. And, and okay. then after that, I, I, I became, you know, I gained success with uh, playing with Ozzy Osbourne and Quiet Riot and so on. So mm -hmm. I've gone from being a starving musician with no endorsement to having my own line of bass guitars. Right. For, there you for, go. For many years. And the, I'm sure the way you network and everything is different, the events you yeah, it's, well. it's Yeah, it's, it's, it's really interesting because, you know, once you start getting some notoriety, then, you know, brands can actually sponsor you Absolutely. because, uh, and you have to be very picky. Mm -hmm. You just can go with anybody that offers you product. Absolutely, you have to yeah. really believe in the product and use it and be a fan of the product. Absolutely. You know, yeah. Investment. Yeah. So, you know, being here on Monster Cable, you know, it's, it's very special because I love the headphones. You know, they are the, everything that you measure every other headphone against. You yeah. Know, they set the bar. Absolutely. You know, the highest quality, you know. So uh, it's great to be here for that. And then, you know, I'm here for my other brands that I that I endorse and play. Absolutely. And we're also here to talk about the role that you play in Hired Guns. Yes. We talked about my friend Stein. We had, we had Nita Strauss and Jason Hook, all these wonderful people. And I know that the whole premise of the documentary is to say, you know, there's many of these musical geniuses, but they also play this sort of psychic role. But that seems to be working for you. So what's, what's kind of the balance? Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, if you look at the trajectory, trajectory of any uh, leader, band leader, or solo artist, or whatever you want to call it, or even band member, you know, there's you always get it like a, a, a good place to start is to get into somebody else's band. Right. Because I try, for example, when I was originally in Quiet Ryan with Randy Rhodes' version of the band, we couldn't get the record deal. So Randy joined Ozzy, even though he was his writing partner, and you know, he was still he was still considered a side hired gun, but he really wasn't because he was such an integral part with the composition and the way he played and performed. And he, and he was never treated like a side person. And neither was I when, when I joined the band. You know, we'll travel together, we'll stay in the same hotels, you know, everything. It was, we were treated as a band. And then from the, there, I went on to actually rejoin what became the health, metal health version of Quiet Riot. Right. You know, so now I'm an equal member with all the guys, you know. So, yeah, it also, it helps a lot to break into the industry by being a member of somebody else or or like in the case of Ozzy, he went on from being a member of Black Sabbath to being solo. So he was yeah. starting out and we were also kind of like starting out at the same time, but it was, he was the one with the notoriety from Black Sabbath and had the record view. Incredible, yeah. yeah. So, my, my very last question, I know you have to go, everyone's rushing you, but what do you hope to accomplish, what what kind of message do you hope that people get from this documentary? Actually, it's... In 50 it's, seconds. It's, no, no, I, oh, no, it's impossible. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it documentary is not only uh, for entertainment, but I think it's also for education uh, to help others who, who need some kind of direction on how to break into the music industry. Um, I mean, if you watch the documentary, you're going to see a lot of, you know, stellar players, names, renowned musicians who actually started out as higher guns. Right. Well, thank you so much, Rudy Sarza, for taking the time out My here with Metal Life, and we'll see you around. My pleasure. Metal Life Magazine.